We often hear the phrase luxury lifestyle, but what does it mean? What is a luxury lifestyle all about? It's one of those phrases that we hear all the time that is perhaps not well defined. In fact, it's a phrase that I use in, in one of my programs. So I thought it makes sense to explore what a luxury lifestyle is. When you think of luxury and the luxury lifestyle, it might mean different things to different people. Does it mean expensive things? Does it mean uh, expensive houses and vacations, and jewels, art? Um, does it mean exclusive access? Does it mean um, stardom, celebrity, society? What does it mean to you? And I think the, the, the short answer is that a luxury lifestyle can include all of those things. In some ways, it's all of those things, and it's none of those things. Because you see, a luxury lifestyle is really based on one's own desires. And maybe a better way of putting it, it's what the person values. It's what we value. I can remember I had a fire in my apartment and I went back to an apartment in the building to get a few things from a neighbor. And when I arrived, the family was gathered around the table with a beautiful tablecloth, flowers on the table, and the family was about to have dinner. And uh, they were about to say grace together and I glanced over and I saw them gathered and that to me felt like a luxury lifestyle because I had realized I had lost the apartment that I was in and I thought those moments of a family gathering was really an expression of luxury so it's it's a standard you know it can be fine wine it can be beautiful flowers it can be prestige travel it all depends on the person's perspective and I like to think of it as creativity freedom of expression, personal expression, and it's enriching experiences. It's those experiences that we feel are enriching. And that um, varies from person to person. A, a very successful person with a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience uh, and a lot of possessions might be very demanding. And their idea of a luxury experience might be way beyond what someone else's is. And in some cases, a person who has a more modest background and um, has not had the experiences or the knowledge of some will look at a luxury experience as very different. And so that's why it's important to define what luxury is because today we see luxury on Instagram. We see it um, uh, in a form of expensive things typically, expensive cars and expensive real estate and, and all of these sorts of things. And while that is an expression of luxury, no question about it, the, um, the number of options we have available to us in our world the possibilities, the things that we can explore are far more varied than that. And of course, you should enjoy those beautiful things and those beautiful experiences, but there's more to luxury than that. You see, luxury is about having a choice. And the thing that we have uh, in, in, in most societies, and certainly as an adult, is we have the choice on how we live. We have a choice on how, uh, what we wear. We have a choice on where we go. We have a choice about uh, with whom we associate, how we communicate, what we make our priority. So you can create luxury at any price point. You can decide that you won't necessarily spend money in a particular area but you will spend money in another area and for you that might be a luxury as long as it enriches your life it enhances your life it adds something to it and of course finances 
provide you with more options. You can have better product quality. Uh, you can have um, um, uh, deeper emotional benefits associated with what you what you do and what you buy and and the choices you make. But at any level, you can have luxury and you can experience luxury. It's about the choices that you make. So you can choose to uh, only eat in a very nice setting. You can choose to always have flowers on the table. You can choose to wear something well made that you really like and not just wear something that everyone else wears or because it's available. You have that choice. And that's what's fascinating to me about luxury. Sometimes uh, someone will look at someone and they'll think, wow, that person's really well dressed. Or they'll wonder what, the, what that person is all about. And it's just a matter of choice. That person made a choice that was different than everyone else. Now, if you're in the business of serving others, particularly in the luxury field, your role is to explore new possibilities. It's to make your clients aware of more options, innovative options, creative options. And that is the joy of serving the luxury marketplace. You have the capacity to introduce new ideas, new options, new opportunities. And you have complete freedom about the way you do that. Uh, there are many moments in a day, probably thousands of moments in a day, where you can make a decision to live a luxury lifestyle. You can decide to respond to someone beautifully. You can decide to pick up the phone and call someone and have a great conversation. You can decide to uh, focus on something that's a little more substantive and than the typical thing that you might see in pop culture. You can decide to do something, something more beautifully um, and to not be careless about it, not be casual about it. You can decide that you're going to do it a little better. It's all up to you. You can decide what's up, what, what you do. Now the thing about serving the luxury market is that the new technologies, new brands, new ideas, and most important, creative people will continue to disrupt, disrupt the marketplace. Now what that means is it will create a shift in what we perceive as luxury. There will be new options, new ideas, new possibilities, and this is probably just beginning. Uh, it is something that's going to take hold, I think, over the next three, five, ten years because we're seeing these rapid shifts in technology. And what's fascinating is that things that used to be luxuries will become more commonplace. And new uh, ways of expressing luxury will come about. New generations will put different priorities and make different choices based on that. And so the opportunities, both in terms of experiencing luxury and enjoying luxury, and the opportunity in serving those in the luxury market is going to be expansive. Now I want to invite you to take a look at Luxury Lifestyle Advisor, that's advisor with an O dot com where I explain my program to help uh, those of you in the business of serving luxury clients and those who want to be, how to do so more effectively. Uh, my luxury lifestyle advisors know about the changes in the marketplace, the disruption that's occurring, and how they can position themselves to take advantage of the exponential growth that exists in the marketplace to meet those needs, that freedom of choice, that creativity of expression that uh, individuals want to have. You see, the more options there are out there, the more uh, 
um, choices there are out there. Believe it or not, the more uh, guidance someone needs in how to make the right choice for them and how to weigh the various choices out there. And one fascinating thing that's happening in the marketplace is that about almost half of the luxury buyers out there are looking for custom experiences. They're looking for um, experiential luxury. They're looking for uh, not only the products, but they're looking for services. They're looking for memories. They're looking for things that can um, empower them, things that can make them feel like they're really living, like they're really doing something interesting and engaging. So when we think about luxury lifestyle, we have to remember that it's all of the things that we think it is. It's the beautiful products and services, the travel, the, the art, the jewels, the, the real estate, the beautiful clothing. It's all of those things. But it's more important what a person values. And in order to service clients well, in order to make our own decisions about how we're going to live, we have to examine where the values are, where the interest is, where the, you know, what a person values and what we value, uh, both as consumers and providers. And we also have to remember that we have choices. We have choices at every level. And whether we are buying and trying to decide whether we uh, uh, can elevate our life by making certain choices, or whether it's helping others understand the choices that are available to them, understanding that choice is key is something that is fundamental to understanding the luxury lifestyle. If you like this tip, uh, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you like. Make sure you share it with someone in your network, someone who uh, would benefit from hearing this tip. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.